Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to connect a USB flash drive to your iPad Pro. So in order to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to get an adapter which converts USB Type A into USB Type C. The reason why we need this adapter is because you can see my uh, USB flash drive uses the USB Type A port. As there are no USB Type A ports on the iPad Pro, we cannot plug this flash drive in uh, the iPad Pro directly. So what we're going to do is we're going to get an adapter which allows us to input the USB Type A. So just connect the flash drive into the USB Type A port on the adapter and then get the USB Type C part of the adapter and just connect that to your iPad Pro. Once that's done, what we're going to do from here is we're just going to load up the Files app. So let's load it up and you should see right here uh, the contents of your flash drive. So my flash drive is called COD4. If I tap into it, you can see it has all of the files from the uh, Call of Duty 4 game uh, downloaded from uh, the uh, Steam store. Seems like there are no files here. Uh, however, if there are files on your flash drive, they will show up right here. Now, a couple of tips and tricks while we are in the Files app. If you would like to copy files from the iPad Pro's internal storage to your flash drive, and you can also do this in reverse, Select on my iPad, find the files you want. So we'll go into, let's say, iZip here, and we'll just select, choose the .zip. If you'd like to choose multiple files at once, you can get your finger, and you can drag. You can see it will select multiple. Drag again on the selected items to unselect. And you have the option to move. You also have the option to select more and copy. Now you can copy multiple files again at once, however, if you would like to, you can select more, compress all the files as a zip, I'm going to cancel this because it will take a while, then move the zip over, but let's just select this one dot zip here, more, copy, and we'll go to the flash drive, long press on the empty space, paste, and just like that the files have transferred successfully without any issues. So that's all there is to it, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.